Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today we continue our series on Dominaria United, as well as continuing Rakdos Week. I had a bit of a struggle with today's deck. Monday's video had a dragon in the command zone, but it wasn't a dragon deck. Dominaria United brought us a pair of Rakdos Dragon Commanders, and I struggled for a while figuring out which one I wanted to build. Cute Stuff wanted a deck around Roga, Carekeep Overlord, while I wanted one around Rivaz of the Claw. Rivaz is obviously the stronger of the two. You can play dragons from your graveyard and ramp into dragons faster. Why wouldn't you run Rivaz in the command zone? But it turns out Cute Stuff was right. Told you so. And Roga is a lot more fun to build a deck around. Before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. I've been very happy with the growth this channel has had so far, and I'm excited to see where we're going. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications, and even do a deck video on it. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Rogar, Carekeep Overlord, is a 5-mana 4-4 Legendary Kobold Warrior. He gives other kobolds we control plus two plus two. He also says that whenever we cast a kobold spell, you may pay two. If you do, create a 4-4 red dragon token creature with flying. Additionally, whenever we cast a dragon spell, we create a 0-1 red kobold creature token named Kobolds of Care Keep. Roga, Care Keep Overlord, is one of the cards printed as both an update and homage to the original Legends cards. In this case, it's Roga of Care Keep. I wanted to include him in this deck, but since he's $80 and the deck only has a $100 budget, that wasn't possible. So what are we looking for? We want kobolds, dragons, and shenanigans. We are in Rakdos, after all. We want to make lots of dragon tokens from Roga, and having a few tokens that are pumped up by Roga's anthem ability is also pretty nice. But before we get into our deck list, we should keep in mind our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. 10 pieces of card advantage. 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal. 2 to 3 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate. And 1 sudden I win card. To start, let's take a look at our lands. Obviously, we're running Care Keep, as well as Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Cinder Barrens, Tainted Peak, Dragon Skull Summit, Sulphurous Mire, Smoldering Marsh, Temple of Malice, Dross Forge Bridge, Rakdos Guildgate, Bloodfell Caves, Geothermal Bog, Bajuka Bog, Myriad Landscape for Ramp, Evolving Wilds, and Terramorphic Expanse for Color Fixing, Seven Swamps, and Thirteen Mountains. Our mana ramp consists of Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Fire Diamond, Charcoal Diamond, Rakdos Signet, Commander Sphere, Mind Stone, Felwar Stone, Dragon's Horde, Decanter of Endless Water, and Worn Power Stone as Mana Rocks. Wayfarer's Bauble and Solemn Simulacrum help us fetch additional lands, while Burgi, God of Storytelling, and Rivaz of the Claw both help us ramp hard when needed. To dig through our deck, we're running Knight's Whisper, Thrill of Possibility, Sign in Blood, Read the Bones, Outpost Siege, Siphon Mind, Unexpected Windfall, and Big Score. We also have a Victimize for some Light Recursion, as well as a Diabolic Tutor to find key cards. For spot removal, we've got the Devil, Terminate, Abrade, Feed the Swarm, Cleansing Wildfire, Rakdos Charm, Chaos Warp, The Eldest Reborn, Wild Magic Surge, and Vandal Blast. Our board wipes consist of Magma Quake and Crux of Fate. Now onto the core of our deck. Our kobolds consist of Taunting Kobold, Rothmak, Heir of Rogoth, Rogak, Son of Rogoth, Minion of the Mighty, Kobold Taskmaster, 
Kobolds of Care Keep, Crookshank Kobolds, and Crimson Kobolds. For Dragons, we're running Chaos Dragon, Archwing Dragon, Emmerstern Predator, Demanding Dragon, Cute Stuff Insisted, Ganax Astral Hunter, Coligan the Storm's Fury, Scourge of Valkus, Lathless Dragon Queen, Swift Warkite, Bladewing the Risen, and Dracuseth Maw of Flames. Now, what kind of shenanigans can we get up to in this deck? And what card is perfect for shenanigans of all kinds? How about a Maskwood Nexus? What if every time we cast a creature spell, we triggered both of Rogal's abilities? But how would we get the mana in order to get a dragon? How about an Ashnod's Altar? If we order the triggers correctly, every time we cast a creature, which, thanks to Maskwood Nexus, is both a kobold and a dragon, Roga creates a 0-1 kobold, and we can pay 2 to create a 4-4 dragon. So we put the dragon creation trigger on the stack, then the kobold trigger. Kobold resolves, creating us a cute little 0-1 kobold of care key. We then sacrifice that kobold to Ashnod's altar, paying for a 4-4 dragon token. Yes, I know that with Roga Care Keep Overlord, our 0-1 kobolds are actually 2-3s. But with Maskwood Nexus on board, our 4-4 dragon tokens become 6-6 flying kobolds. Now, I know that it doesn't pair well with Maskwood Nexus, but we want other ways to win just in case it gets destroyed. So I've included a Ferocity of the Wilds and a Raid Bombardment. Dragon Tempest to help us close out the game. And finally, a Grave Shifter for some additional graveyard recursion. Okay, let's take a look at our deck and compare it to our checklist. 53 mana sources split between 37 lands and 16 pieces of ramp. A little high, but dragons are expensive, so it's fine. 11 pieces of card advantage, 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 board wipes, 3 pieces of graveyard hate, no sudden I win cards, but lots of combo potential. In fact, the only thing that would make our deck even more powerful would be a Cloudstone Curio. If we had this, and combined it with our commander, Ashnod's Altar, Maskwood Nexus, and any of our zero mana kobolds, we can make infinite dragon tokens. But at $60, it's a bit out of budget for a $100 deck. Two more kobolds are also out of budget, Kobold Drill Sergeant and Kobold Overlord. I'm glad I did some tinkering to ensure we had both Burgi and Ashnod's Altar in the list, but we only had enough in the budget for a single tutor. In order to make this deck stronger, we would want to add cards that draw us cards when we sacrifice stuff, like Liliana Dreadhorde General, or additional tutors like Demonic Tutor or Profane Tutor. Better lands like Blood Crypt or Haunted Ridge would also go a long way towards speeding up the deck. But even without those upgrades, this deck is still a blast to play. Cute Stuff is very excited to give it a whirl and smash people. Though, she wanted me to remind everyone that she's not a cheap woman and will want the expensive cards in her deck. How are you building Rogar, Carekeep Overlord? Are you going for all dragons? Changelings? Or something completely different? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, there's a link to her Fiverr page below. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Jiraiya, Waffles, Muffins, Casey, Danny, Nick, Marcus, Black Dragon, and Phoenix of Ice. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or you can click here to watch additional videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Danon. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.